Hello, my dear friends. I welcome you all to my daily dose. I am myself, Dr. Rajesh Guba. I am a cardiologist, and I am also a mentor for exams like NEET, PG, PGI, AIMS, and as well as JIPMA. So, in the today's daily dose, I have come up with a clinical question that is on chest pain management. So, I have a 49-year-old man. He is rushed to the emergency department, complaining of 20 minutes history of severe crushing chest pain. After giving the glycerol trinitrate spray, he is able to tell you he suffers from hypertension and type 2 diabetes mellitus and he is allergic to aspirin. The most appropriate management in this particular patient is the options are aspirin, morphine, heparin, clopidogrel, barfarin. So, what is the most appropriate management in this patient? So now, you take the history and as well as how the chest pain is progressing. So it's a 20 minutes chest pain and crushing in nature. And that particular chest pain is getting relieved by your nitrates. So what do you think is the underlying etiology of this particular pain? You have to think of the underlying coronary artery disease as the underlying etiology of the pain. Right? Now, so once, because not only that, he is also having the risk factors for the coronary artery disease that is hypertension and as well as type 2 diabetes mellitus. But the point is, the individual is allergic to aspirin. So what is the most appropriate management? See, like we follow what is called as NICE guidelines for the treatment of the chest pain of underlying cardiac etiology that is coronary artery disease. See for the chest pain, the NICE guidelines recommend two important drugs. One is nitrites and the other one is the morphine. But already you have given nitrates and it is not required to give morphine again. Right? Either of these particular drugs you can give. Okay, when you have given nitrates, don't again supplement the patient with the morphine. Then the patient is allergic to aspirin. So that is why you should you cannot give aspirin. Right? So, actually we give as a loading dose nearly around 325 milligrams. But you have to ask about the allergy to aspirin. This aspirin can cause anaphylactic reaction. It can cause respiratory distress. So, you need to ask the history about the aspirin allergy before supplementing the loading dose of aspirin in patients with the underlying coronary artery disease that is acute coronary syndrome. Then, you take your heparin and as well as warfarin. Heparin and warfarin, they provide the anticoagulant action in patients with the coronary artery disease. But these particular drugs, that is heparin and as well as the warfarin, they will have slower onset of action. Right? So they don't require to be given in acute management in this scenario. What is the ideal drug that need to be given in this particular patient? It is your clopidogrel that has to be given, right? And if it is a if he is a patient with the acute coronary syndrome, and how much of the clopidogrel that has to be given as a loading dose? That has to be given as 300 milligrams of clopidogrel should be given as the loading dose, right? So chest pain management in patients with acute coronary syndrome is a very very important point of discussion, right? So I hope you might have enjoyed this particular short video. Right? And for daily dose, please follow us. Thank you very much.